Psalm 91 verse 2 says, I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress, a God in whom I trust. Beloved, we are entering into prayer of Psalms for God's protection over our lives. God's intention is to keep us at peace because our minds are stayed in him. If you believe that Jesus Christ has the power because he does to keep you safe and secure even in this perilous time, I need you to join in this prayer. Let's pray these psalms together. In the name of Jesus, almighty God, in you I find my refuge and strength. I come before you today with a heart filled with trust and hope. I seek your divine protection, for in your embrace I find solace and peace. As I lift my voice in prayer, let my words be an offering of faith and adoration. Hear our cry, O Lord, and let our prayers uh, resonate with the certainty of your unwavering love and protection. Psalm 46 verse 1 says, God is our refuge and strength and ever-present help in trouble. O Lord, we acknowledge your sovereignty and power. And so, Lord, we ask that you are the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. In your hands, the universe is held together and nothing can stand against your might. And so today I declare that you are my refuge and fortress and my God in whom I place my unwavering trust in. I find comfort in knowing that you are my protector and defender. Psalm 32 verse 7 says, You are my hiding place. You will protect me from trouble and surround me with songs of deliverance. And therefore amidst the storms of life that threaten to engulf me and my family, we turn to you, our rock and shelter. When trials assail us from every side, we find solace in the shadow of your wings. We trust that you will shield us from harm and guide us through the darkest valleys as the tempests rage grant us the grace to hold on to your promises and find courage in the knowledge that you are ever present always ready to extend your helping hand in times of uncertainty and fear i find strength in knowing that you are my light in the darkness your word illuminates my path and your wisdom directs my steps i trust that you will order my every stride leading me away from danger and into the embrace of safety as i navigate the challenges that lie ahead let your light shine upon me dispelling all doubts and illuminating my way gracious god i acknowledge that in this world i will face two relations yet i take heart for you have overcome the world i put my hope in you for you are my hiding place let your word be a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path, guiding me through the challenges I encounter. Fill me with your wisdom and discernment that I may walk in your ways. As Psalm 59 verse 16 says, But I will sing of your strength. In the morning I will sing of your love, for you are my fortress and my refuge in times of trouble. When the arrows of doubt and despair pierce my heart, I find solace in your unwavering love. In the face of adversity, you are my shield and my defender. I take refuge in your promises, knowing that you would never leave me nor forsake me. Strengthen my faith, O Lord, that I may trust your divine protection and rest in the certainty of your unwavering presence. Psalm 23 verse 6 says, Surely your goodness and love would follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. And so, Lord, I lift my voice in praise and adoration. You are the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. In you I find all that I need. I trust in your goodness and mercy which follow us all the days of our lives and i surrender into your hands let your protection envelope me and your love empower me to walk boldly in the parts you have laid before me psalm 55 verse 22 says cast your budding on the lord and he shall sustain you he shall never permit the righteous to be moved lord i confess my worries and anxieties to you knowing that you care for me deeply help me to cast all my burdens upon you for you will sustain me teach me to surrender my fears and place my complete trust in you as i believe psalm 91 verse 15 which says he shall call upon me and i will answer him 
and I will be with him even in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. Heavenly Father, I declare your promises over my life. You have said that when I call upon you, you will answer me. You will be with me in trouble and deliver me. Help me to approach your throne of grace with confidence, knowing that you hear my prayers and that your plans for me are good. May your perfect will be done in my life and may your name be glorified through every circumstance. I trust in him at all times. You people pour out your hearts to him for God is our refuge. Psalm 62 verse 8. O oh Lord, I offer this prayer of Sam as an expression of my trust in your unwavering protection. Let my heart be filled with the assurance that you are my refuge, my fortress, and my ever-present help in times of trouble. Strengthen my faith, guide my steps, and lead me into the fullness of your divine plan. In your holy name I pray. And Lord, I recognize that amidst the trials of life, I'm not alone. Your angels surround me, watching over me day and night. I take comfort in knowing that your heavenly hosts are at my side, ready to defend and protect me. Help me to trust in your unseen army and to believe that no weapon formed against me shall prosper. You are ever-present help in times of trouble. Strengthen my faith that I may rely on your unfailing protection. Shield me from harm and danger. Both seen and unseen, preserve my life from the schemes of the wicked and deliver me from every evil attack. I surrender my life into your hands, for you are faithful to keep me safe. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. God is our refuge and strength and ever-present help in trouble. Therefore, we will not fear, though the mountains fall into the heart of the sea, though its waters roar and foam and the mountains quake with their surging. That was Psalm 46 verses 1 to 3. Now this prayer is dedicated to you who needs God's refuge and strength. And so if you believe that God is willing and will be able to answer this prayers, why don't you join me in the name that is above every other name, Jesus, as we pray the Psalms of protection and refuge. Let's pray. O oh, Almighty God, I come before you in the name of Jesus. I ask that you hear my humble plea as I come before your throne of grace. In this prayer of psalm, I seek refuge and strength in your divine presence, for you are my fortress and shield. Amidst the trials and tribulations that surround me, I place my trust in you, knowing that you are the unchangeable rock upon which I stand. Psalm 59 verse 16 says, But I will sing of your strength in the morning. I will sing of your love, for you are my fortress, my refuge in times of trouble. Lord, I find comfort in knowing that you are my refuge. When the storms of life rage fiercely, I can find shelter in your loving arms. You are my safe haven, a place where I can find solace and rest. As I face the uncertainties of this world, I am assured that you are always with me, standing as my strong tower, providing protection from the chaos that seeks to engulf me. Psalm 37 verses 23 to 24. The steps of a man are established by the Lord when he delights in his way. Though he falls, he shall not be cast headlong, for the Lord upholds his hand. You are not only my refuge, O Lord, but you are also my strength. When I am weak, you strengthen me. When I am weary, you renew my spirit. In times of doubt and despair, you grant me the resilience to endure. You have promised never to leave me nor forsake me. And in this promise, I find the courage to face every obstacle that lies before me. As I meditate upon your word, I am reminded of the miraculous acts you have performed throughout history. You parted the Red Sea, brought forth water from a rock, and led your people through the wilderness. You have shown your power and faithfulness time and time again. Therefore, I cast aside all fear and anxiety, knowing that the same God who delivered the Israelites from bondage is the same God who watches over me today. 
Psalm 28 verse 7 says, The Lord is my strength and my shield. My heart trusts in Him and He helps me. Though the world may crumble and chaos may ensue, I will not be moved. Your authority reigns supreme over all creation. Your voice can silence the fiercest storms and your hand can calm the troubled seas. I trust in your sovereignty, knowing that even in the midst of turmoil, you are working all things together for my good. Grant me, O God, the strength to surrender my worries and anxieties at your feet. Help me to release control and place my burdens in your capable hands. Teach me to lean on you and not on my own understanding, for it is in surrendering to your will that I find true peace and rest. Psalm 18 verse 2 says, The Lord is my rock, my fortress and my deliverer. My God is my rock in whom I take refuge, my shield and the horn of my salvation, my stronghold. In the name of Jesus, Lord, I acknowledge that my faith is imperfect and doubts may creep in from time to time, yet... I pray that you would strengthen my faith, increase my trust and deepen my intimacy with you. Help me to surrender and remember your faithfulness in the past so that I may face the future with unwavering confidence in your divine providence. You are my refuge and strength, my ever-present help in times of trouble. In the midst of life storms and uncertainties, I find solace in your unfailing love and unwavering faithfulness. Your word reminds me of your promises and assures me of your constant presence. As I pour out my heart before you, may this psalm resonate with the depths of my soul and become a source of encouragement and inspiration to others. Teach me to trust in you more fully, to lean on your own understanding and not my own. In the shelter of your arms, let me find rest, peace and unwavering confidence. Let your name be glorified both now and forevermore. Psalm 91 verse 4 says, He will cover you with his feathers and under his wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness will be your shield and rampart. O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus, I come before you humbly, acknowledging my need for your guidance and protection. In a world filled with chaos and uncertainty, I find comfort in knowing that you are my rock and fortress. You are the immovable foundation upon which I can stand firm. Even when the storms of light threaten to overwhelm me, thank you for being my deliverer, my refuge in times of trouble. Father, I recognize that my strength is limited and my efforts often fall short. But you, O oh Lord, are the source of infinite strength. In you, I find the power to overcome challenges and the courage to face each day. Help me to trust in your strength and not rely on my own understanding. When I am weak, may I find strength renewed in you. And I also read the Psalm 9 verses 9 to 10 that say the Lord also would be a refuge for the oppressed, a refuge in times of trouble. And those who know your name will put their trust in you, for you, Lord, have not forsaken those who seek you. Father, I confess that there are times when my trust wavers and doubts creep into my mind, yet I know that you are faithful and true. Help me to trust you wholeheartedly, knowing that you will never forsake me. And oh, Heavenly Father, I thank you for being my refuge and strength. In the world that is ever changing, you remain steadfast and unshakable. Let the prayer psalm serve as a reminder of your goodness and faithfulness towards me. As I place my trust in you, help me to walk in the assurance that you are my refuge and strength now and forevermore. In Jesus' mighty and matchless name, I pray. According to the book of Psalm, it says, The Lord is a refuge for the oppressed, a stronghold in times of trouble. Though troubles may surround me, I will not fear, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff guard me along the righteous path, leading me towards green pastures and still waters. In your presence, my soul is nourished and my spirit is refreshed. Your word is a lamb unto my feet, and your truth illuminates my way. 
If you believe the psalm can help you get out of that problem as you pray in the name of Jesus, join me in this prayer. Oh Lord, I praise you for your faithfulness. You are a refuge for the weary, a sanctuary for the brokenhearted. You bind up the wounds of the afflicted and offer comfort to those who mourn. Your love knows no bounds and your grace is sufficient for all my needs. According to the book of Psalm 16, keep me safe, my God, for in you I take refuge. O Lord, my God, I come before you in humble reverence, seeking refuge in the shelter of your loving arms. You are the rock of my salvation, the fortress of my soul, and in you alone do I find true solace and strength. In the depth of my being, I yearn for your presence, for in you I am assured of unwavering love and everlasting peace. Psalm 17 says, Hear me, Lord, my plea is just. Listen to my cry as I reflect on the psalm. I am reminded of the steadfastness of your love. David, in his deepest despair, found solace in your arms. He sought refuge in you and found comfort in knowing that you are a God who listens and responds. Like David, I turn to you, knowing that you are the same God yesterday, today and forever. I find peace in the knowledge that you are a God who never changes and your love for me is unchanging. Psalm 46 says, God is our refuge and strength and ever-present help in trouble. As I traverse the winding parts of life, I am often met with trials and tribulations that seek to overwhelm me. But in the midst of the storm, I find solace in your promises. Dear Lord, you are my refuge and my strength, a constant help in times of trouble. When the world around me seems chaotic and uncertain, I find peace in the knowledge that you are my unchanging anchor. According to the book of Psalm 61, Hear my cry, O God, listen to my prayer. O Lord, in times of distress, I lift my eyes to the mountains, knowing that my help comes from you, the maker of heaven and earth. You watch over me day and night, never slumbering, nor sleeping. Your eyes are ever vigilant, and your outstretched arm is ready to deliver me from all harm. Psalm 71 says, In you, Lord, I have taken refuge. Let me never be put to shame. When the world overwhelms me, I find solace in the depths of your love. When doubt clouds my mind, I find strength in your unwavering faithfulness. When I stumble and fall, you are there to lift me up and set my feet on solid ground. Your grace sustains me and your mercy endures forever. In your presence. I find the courage to face the challenges that lie ahead. You equip me with the armor of righteousness and you empower me to stand firm against the schemes of the enemy. With you by my side, I am more than a conqueror. I am a child of the Most High, fearfully and wonderfully made. Psalm 91 says, whosoever dwells in the secret place of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. In your infinite wisdom and compassion, you have created a sanctuary for my weary soul. You beckon me to dwell in the shelter of your wings, where I find protection from the storms of life. You shield me from the arrows of despair and fear, and you mend the broken pieces of my heart. In your presence, my soul finds rest, and my spirit is renewed. Psalm 31 says, In you, Lord, I have taken refuge. Let me never be put to shame. And so, Lord, in the name of Jesus, in your holy presence, I find true refuge. In your everlasting arms, I find unshakable peace. And in the sanctuary of your love, I find eternal joy. For you alone, O Lord, my refuge and my fortress. And in you, I put my trust. Psalm 34 says, I will extol the Lord at all times. His praise will always be on my lips. O oh Lord, my refuge and my strength, I pour out my heart before you. Hear my prayer, O oh Lord, and let your loving kindness surround me. Fill me with your peace that surpasses all understanding. Grant me the strength to persevere 
and the faith to trust in your perfect plan. Psalm 142 says, I cry aloud to the Lord and I lift up my voice to the Lord for mercy. In the depths of my soul, I yearn for your refuge, O God. The world around me may be chaotic and filled with uncertainty, but I find peace in knowing that you are my rock and fortress in times of trouble. And I find solace in the shelter of your wings. When I am overwhelmed by the trials of life, I find rest in your presence. You are my refuge and my strength, a constant help in times of trouble. I pray, Lord, Psalm 118, give thanks to the Lord for he is good. His love endures forever. And so, Lord, in the name of Jesus, let my life be a living testament to your glory, a reflection of your love and grace. In all I do, may your name be exalted. Let my words and deeds bring honor to you, my refuge and my strength. In Jesus' most holy name, I have prayed. Amen. The understanding of the book of Psalm as a book that not only praises God, but also has a power for you to rest upon when you need to fight a spiritual warfare is very important. No wonder David understood how to war in the Lord. I would invite you to join us as we pray for strength and courage even in this period. Let's pray the Psalms. Father, in the name of Jesus, I begin this prayer with Psalm 73 verse 26. My flesh and my heart fails, but God is the strength of my heart and my portion forever. Almighty and gracious God, I come before you in humble reverence, seeking your strength and courage to sustain me in times of trial and adversity. You are the source of all power and might, and I trust in your unfailing love to guide me through the darkest of valleys. Psalm 27 verse 1 says, The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life, of whom shall I be afraid? As I reflect on this psalm, I am reminded of the countless times your people, O Father, called upon you for strength and courage, and they received it. Like David, who faced the giant Goliath with unyielding trust in your deliverance, I too seek the same steadfastness. Lord, instill in me the courage to confront my fears and overcome the huddles that stand in my way. Psalm 31 verse 24 says, Be strong and let your heart take courage, all you who hope in the Lord. And in the depths of my soul I cry out to you, O Lord, for I am weary and burdened. The challenges of life weigh heavily upon me, and I long for your divine presence to uplift my spirit. Grant me the fortitude to face every obstacle with unwavering faith, knowing that you are by my side, leading me on the path of righteousness. Psalm 46 verses 1 to 3 say, God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Therefore, we won't be afraid, though the earth changes, though the mountains are shaking into the heart of the seas, though its waters roar and are troubled, though the mountains tremble with their swelling. You are the rock of ages, the fortress where I find refuge. As the storms of life rage around me, I seek solace in your sheltering arms. Shield me from the arrows of doubt and fear and fortify my spirit with the certainty of unwavering love. In your presence, I find comfort and assurance knowing that your strength is made perfect in my weakness. Psalm 29 verse 11 says, The Lord will give strength to his people. The Lord will bless his people with peace. When the waves of despair threaten to engulf me, I turn to you, O God, for you are my anchor amidst the tempest. Give me the resilience to weather the storms of life, knowing that your hand is upon me, guiding me through the turbulent waters. Help me to remember that trials are but stepping stones to great height, and that through adversity, your strength is made manifest. 
Psalm 23 verse 4 says, Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. In the midst of my struggles, Lord, remind me that I am never alone. You are with me, guiding me and providing for me. Your love surrounds me like a shoulder and your presence fills me with peace and assurance. With you by my side, I can face any challenge, overcome any obstacle and emerge victorious. Grant me the wisdom to discern your will in every circumstance and the courage to follow where you lead. Let your word be a lamb unto my feet and a light unto my path, illuminating the way forward when darkness surrounds me. Strengthen my resolve to walk in righteousness even when the world entices me to stray. Psalm 28 verse 9 says, The Lord is my strength and my shield. My heart is trusted in Him and I am helped. Therefore, my heart greatly rejoices. With my song, I will thank Him. In moments of doubt, remind me of your promises, for your word never returns void. Fill my heart with unwavering faith, knowing that with you, all things are possible. Help me to trust in your timing, even when the world urges to rush or give up. Grant me patience and endurance, knowing that you are working all things together for my good. Psalm 138 verse 3 In the day that I called, you answered me. You encouraged me with strength in my soul. In your presence, O God, I find strength and courage beyond measure. Grant me the grace to draw near to you daily, to seek your face and to abide in your love as I rest in your embrace. Renew my strength and my spirit and embolden my heart. Let my life be a living psalm of praise, declaring your goodness and grace to all who encounter me. Psalm 118 verse 14 says, The Lord is my strength and song. He has become my salvation. Lord, when I falter and my strength wanes, breathe new life into my weary bones. Infuse me with your divine energy and vitality that I may soar on wings like eagles. Empower me to run and not grow weary, to walk and not faint, as I strive to fulfill your purpose for my life. Psalm 28 verse 8 says, The Lord is my strength and a shield. My heart has trusted in Him and I am helped. Therefore, my heart greatly rejoices. With my song, I will thank Him. The Lord is their strength. He is a stronghold of salvation to His anointed. I offer this prayer with a grateful heart, knowing that you hear and answer the cries of your children. Thank you, Lord, for enduring love and unwavering faithfulness. In you, I found the strength and courage I so desperately seek. Psalm 34 verse 4 says, that I sought the Lord, and He answered me and delivered me from all my fears. Lord, as I face the challenges that lie ahead, I pray for the strength to persevere and the courage to stand firm. Let your Holy Spirit empower me to be a beacon of hope and encouragement to others so that they too may find solace in your unfailing love. Use my life as a testament to your faithfulness that all who encounter may witness your transformative power. Psalm 18 verse 1, The Lord is my rock, my fortress, and my deliverer, my God, my rock, in whom I take refuge, my shield and the horn of my salvation, my high tower. In the depths of my soul, I long for your strength and courage to sustain me through the trials and challenges of life. Lord, you are my refuge and my fortress, the one in whom I find my true strength. Psalm 112 verses 7 He will not be afraid of evil news. His heart is steadfast, trusting in the Lord. I lift my voice to you, O Lord, with praise and thanksgiving. You are my rock, my fortress, and my deliverer. You are my strength and courage. I place my trust in you, knowing that you would never fail me. Help me to work in your ways, to follow your commandments, and to live a life that brings honor and glory to your name. In Jesus' name, I pray.
Dear Heavenly Father, I come before you in the name of Jesus. From the debt of my heart, I pray that the words of Psalm 51 be my heart's cry towards you today. Create in me a clean heart, O God. Renew a loyal spirit within me. Lord, I feel weighed down by sin in my life. Please help me find freedom as I seek your forgiveness today. Forgive me for allowing sin to take hold. Thank you for the promise that you will not reject a broken and repentant heart. You sent your son Jesus to die on the cross for my sins so that I may be forgiven. And Lord, I praise you for that incredible gift, Lord. Please accept this prayer of repentance as I turn away from sin and bring my brokenness to you. I thank you because I know you will make me whole again. Lord, I know your word says in Psalm 103 verses 11 to 12, For as the heavens are high above the earth, so great is his mercy towards those who fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far has he removed our transgressions from us. And dear Heavenly Father, when I committed my life to your Son Jesus and asked him to come to live in my heart, you forgave me for my past sins. I am grateful for that forgiveness, but sometimes those memories resurface. I feel guilty over any pain I caused and struggle to forgive myself. Help me to understand that I am a new creation. You removed the old and created something new in me. I give you praise for this awesome gift. According to Psalm 32, Blessed is he whose transgression is forgiven, whose sin is covered. Blessed is the man to whom the Lord does not impute iniquity, and in whose spirit there is no deceit. When I kept silent, my bones grew old through my groaning all day long, for day and night your hand was heavy upon me. My vitality was turned into the drought of summer. I acknowledge my sin to you, Lord, and my iniquity I have not hidden. I said, I will confess my transgressions to the Lord, and you forgave the iniquity of my sin. For this cause everyone who is godly shall pray to you, in a time when you may be found, surely in a flood of great waters, they shall not come near him. You are my hiding place, you shall preserve me from trouble, and you shall surround me with songs of deliverance. I will instruct you and teach you the way you should go. I will guide you with my eye. Do not be like the horse or like the mule, which have no understanding, which must be harnessed with a bit and bridle, else they will come near you. Many sorrows shall be to the wicked, but he who trusts in the Lord, mercy shall surround him. Be glad in the Lord and rejoice, you righteous, and shout for joy, O you upright in heart. Jesus, I believe you love me. And I know that you have forgiven me of my sins. Help me to be a better person. My God, I am sorry for my sins with all my heart and in choosing to do wrong and failing to do good. I have sinned against you whom I should love above all things. I firmly intend with your help to do penance, to sin no more and avoid whatever leads me to sin. According to the book of Psalm 100 verse 5, For the Lord is good. His mercy is everlasting and His truth endures to all generations. Dear Heavenly Father, I humbly come before you today recognizing my shortcomings and mistakes. I am overwhelmed by your mercy and grace and I seek your forgiveness with a contrite heart, Lord. You are the source of all compassion and forgiveness and I rely on your steadfast love to cleanse me of my transgressions. According to the book of Psalm 94 verses 17 to 19, Unless the Lord had been my help, my soul would soon have settled in silence. If I say, my foot slips, your mercy, O Lord, will hold me up. In the multitude of my anxieties within me, your comforts delight my soul. In this book of Psalm, I find solace and guidance in the prayers of forgiveness. The psalmist's words resonate deeply within me. 
reminding me of the power and importance of seeking your forgiveness. Just as the psalmist cried out to you in times of distress, I too pour out my heart before you, seeking the cleansing and restoration only you can provide. According to the book of Psalm 147 verse 11, the Lord takes pleasure in those who fear him and those who hope in his mercy. Forgive me, Lord, for the times I have turned away from your commandments. I confess my sins and acknowledge the ways in which I have fallen short. I have allowed pride to blind my anger to consume me and selfishness to guide my actions. I have spoken words of hurt instead of words of love and I have harbored bitterness instead of extending forgiveness to others. I have neglected my responsibilities and failed to love my neighbor as myself. Lord, forgive me for these transgressions and wash me clean. According to the book of Psalm 86 verse 5, For you, Lord, are good and ready to forgive, and abundant in mercy to all those who call upon you. Lord, as I reflect on the psalmist's plea for forgiveness, I am reminded of your boundless mercy. You are slow to anger and abounding in steadfast love. Even in my darkest moments, you extend your hand to lift me up and guide me back onto the path of righteousness. Your forgiveness is a gift beyond measure and I am grateful for the opportunity to receive it. Help me, dear Father, to truly repent and turn away from my sinful ways. Grant me the strength to resist temptation and to live a life that is pleasing in your sight. Fill my heart with your spirit that I may walk in obedience to your will and be a vessel of your love and forgiveness to others. All these I have prayed in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Psalm 100 verse 4 says, Enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and praise his name. Now this is a mandate, it's a command, not just your decision. If you understand that you would know how to come into the presence of God and receive your blessing. So let's join in as we give God the praise in this prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, we come before you today with a heart overflowing with gratitude and a spirit filled with praise. You are the God of all creation, the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. You deserve all honor, glory and adoration. With every breath that I take, I want to exalt your holy name and declare your goodness. Lord, I am amazed by your love and faithfulness. Your mercies are new every morning and your compassion never fails. Your grace has saved me from my sins and offered me eternal life through Christ Jesus. You have blessed me with the abundance of blessings, both seen and unseen. For all these reasons, I raise my voice in thanksgiving. Thank you, Lord, for the gift of life. You knit me together in my mother's womb and breathe life into me. You have given me purpose and meaning, and I am in awe of your divine plan for my existence. Today I celebrate the breath of life that sustains me on the opportunities that lay before me. Psalm 139 verse 14 says, I praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Your works are wonderful. I know that full well. Thank you, Lord, for your provision. You have supplied all my needs according to your glorious riches. I am grateful for the food on my table, the shelter over my head, and the clothes at my back. You have never failed to meet my needs, and I trust that you will continue to provide for me. Thank you, Lord, for your guidance. You are the lamb unto my feet and the light unto my path. When I am lost, you show me the way. When I am confused, you provide clarity. When I am weak, you strengthen me. Your word is a lamb that illuminates my steps and I am grateful for the wisdom it imparts. Psalm 119 verse 105. Your word is a lamb for my feet and a light on my path. Thank you, Lord, for your healing touch. You are the great physician 
and you hold the power to restore and renew. You have comforted me in times of pain and brought healing on my body, mind and soul. I am grateful for the times you have delivered me from illness and provided me with strength and resilience. Psalm 103 verses 2 to 3 say, Praise the Lord my soul and forget not all his benefits, who forgives all your sins and heals all your diseases. Thank you Lord in the name of Jesus for your unfailing love. Your love is steadfast and enduring even when I am undeserving. You loved me before I even knew you and you continue to pour out your love unto me every day. I am overwhelmed by your grace and mercy and I am humbled by the debt of your love for me. Psalm 136 verse 26 says, Give thanks to God of heaven, his love endures forever. Lord, I offer up the psalm of praise and thanksgiving to you. Let my life be a living testament to your goodness and faithfulness. Help me to walk in gratitude each day and to extend your love and grace to those around me. Let my words and actions bring glory to your name. As Psalm 9 verse 1 says, I will give thanks to you, Lord. With all my heart, I would tell of all your wonderful deeds. Lord, I come again in the name of Jesus, giving thanks for the countless blessings you have bestowed upon me. From the breath of life that fills my lungs each day to the beauty of creation that surrounds me, your handiwork is evident in every corner of this world. You have blessed me with good health, a loving family and friends who have walked beside me in both joyful and challenging times. Your faithfulness has sustained me and I am forever grateful. Psalm 34 verse 1 says, I will extol the Lord at all times. His praise will always be on my lips. Father, I praise you for your unending love and abounding grace. You have redeemed me from my sins and given me a new life in Christ. In moments of weakness, you have been my strength. In times of despair, you have been my comfort. You have held my hand and guided me through the storms leading me to the path of righteousness. I praise you for the peace that surpasses all understanding, a peace that guards my heart and mind in Christ Jesus. Psalm 136 verses 1 to 3 say, Give thanks to the Lord for he is good. His love endures forever. Give thanks to the God of gods. His love endures forever. Give thanks to the Lord of Lords. His love endures forever. O oh Lord, your love endures forever and I am in awe of your goodness and faithfulness. You have never forsaken me even when I stumbled and fell. Your love is constant, unchanging and it surrounds me like a shield. You are the source of all wisdom and your guidance has never failed me. With a heart full of gratitude, I praise you for your faithfulness that extends to all generations. Psalm 138 verse 1 says, I will praise you, Lord, with all my heart before the gods. I will sing your praise. Gracious Father, I sing praises to your name, for you alone are worthy of all honor and glory. You have lifted me up when I was downtrodden, and you have brought healing to my brokenness. Your love has transformed my life and I am forever changed. In the presence of the world, I declare that you are my God and I will worship you with all my heart and soul. Psalm 107 verse 1 says, Give thanks to the Lord for he is good and his love endures forever. And therefore, Lord, I thank you for the ability to pray. A sacred communion that allows me to come into your presence. In prayer, I find solid strength and guidance. You listen to the cries of my heart and answer my prayers according to your perfect will. Your faithfulness in answering prayers has brought joy and miracles into my heart. I am grateful that you hear me even when my words fail me. You are my refuge and in your presence I find peace. Thank you, Lord, for in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. One of the most beautiful ways to fight your spiritual battles is to concentrate on the book of Psalm. 
You will agree with me that David was the fiercest fighter in the scripture and he is a good example of how to fight and win while depending on God. So let's pray the Psalms together as we trust God to deliver us from our enemies. Psalm 59 says, Deliver me from my enemies, O God. Protect me from those who rise up against me. Deliver me from evil doers and save me from bloodthirsty men. See how they lie and wait for me. Fierce men conspire against me for no offense or sin of mine, O Lord. And so, Lord, in the name of Jesus, I come before you in humble reverence, seeking solace and deliverance from the grip of my enemies. In the sacred moment of prayer, I pour out the depths of my heart, beseeching you for strength and protection and liberation from those who seek to harm me. Hear my plea, O Lord, and let your mighty hand move mightily in my life. Psalm 18 says, He delivered me from the strong enemies and from those who hated me, for they were mightier than I. He brought me forth into a spacious place. He will deliver me because He delights in me. I will pursue my enemies and catch them, and I will not turn back till they are destroyed. I will crush them, and they will not be able to stand. They will fall under my feet, for you guarded me with strength for war. You bound the feet of all adversaries beneath me. You made my enemies turn their backs to me, and those who hated me you have utterly destroyed. You who deliver me from my angry enemies will exalt me above those who rise against me. You will deliver me from the unrighteous man. My enemies surround me like a fierce storm, their tongues dripping with venomous words and their hearts filled with malice. They plot my downfall, seeking to devour my spirit and crush my hope. Yet, in the face of their hatred, I stand unyielding, for I know that you, O God, are my defender. It is your strength that sustains me and your love that gives me courage. Grant me the wisdom to discern their deceitful ways, that I may walk in the righteousness and not be ensnared by their snares. Illuminate my path, O Lord, that I may see clearly the steps I should take and grant me the courage to tread them without fear. Let not their words of discouragement deter me from the purpose you have ordained for my life. Psalm 27 says, The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the defender of my life. Of whom should I be afraid? When evildoers assailed me to eat up my flesh, my adversaries and my foes, they stumbled and fell. Though an army encamps against me, my heart shall not fear. Though a war rises up against me, yet I will be confident of this. As I lift my voice to you, I am reminded of the countless battles you fought for your people throughout history, Father. You have always been their refuge, their rock and their fortress. In these hour of distress, I too seek shelter under the shadow of your wings. So Lord God, I ask that you surround me with your impenetrable shield, that I may find safety and peace. Psalm 24 says, Lift up your gates, all you princes, and be lifted up, all you everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall enter. Who is this King of glory? The Lord strong and mighty, the Lord mighty in battle. Lift up your heads, all you gates, and be lifted up, O everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall enter. Who is this King of glory? The Lord of hosts is the King of glory. When despair threatens to overwhelm me, and the weight of their oppression bears upon my shoulders, Remind me of your unfailing promises, O Lord. You have declared that no weapon formed against me shall prosper and that you will deliver me from the hands of my adversaries. Though they may rise against me like a roaring tide, you are the God who parts the waters and makes a way where there seems to be none. Psalm 144 says, Blessed be the Lord my God who trains my hands for war and my fingers for battle, my mercy and refuge, my helper and my deliverer, my protector in whom I have trusted, who subdues the peoples under me. I find strength in knowing that I am not alone in this battle. You, O Lord, are with me. 
every step of the way. Your presence brings comfort to my weary soul and empowers me to face each day with hope and resilience. When I am weak, you are my strength. When I am lost, you are my guide and light. In you, O oh Lord, I find deliverance from the grip of my enemies. Psalm 35 says, Judge, O Lord, those who wrong me. Fight against those who fight against me. Take hold of shield and buckler and rise for my help. Draw the sword and stop the way against those who persecute me. Say to my soul, I am your salvation. Let them be put to shame and confounded who seek after my soul. Let those who desire evil for me be turned back and brought to dishonor. Let them be as dust before the wind, with the angel of the Lord afflicting them. Let their way be dark and slippery, with the angel of the Lord pursuing them. In the darkest of my affliction, I cry unto you, O God, in the name of Jesus, for you alone can bring light to the darkest corners of my spirit. My spirit is weary, and my heart aches with the weight of oppression. Yet, I take solace in your promise, for you are the God who lifts the downtrodden and hears the cries of the oppressed. As I pour out my anguish before you, I find comfort in knowing that you are near, ready to rescue me from the hands of my adversaries. I lift up my voice in praise and adoration. You are the God who is faithful to deliver, and I trust in your unfailing love. Though the storms may rage and the night may seem endless, I know that joy comes in the morning. With gratitude in my heart, I place my life in your hands, knowing that you will lead me to a place of victory, where my enemies shall be vanquished and your name will be glorified forevermore. In Jesus' name, I pray. Father God, in the name of Jesus, I want to give you thanks. I want to give you thanks for waking me up this day. I thank you for the power that lies and rests in the name of Jesus Christ. I thank you, Father God, for the power that has been bestowed upon me to be able to cast out oppression, to be able to cast out the enemy, to be able to cast out demons and devils, and to be able to take authority over every spirit of darkness that may be trying to hinder my life. According to the book of Psalm 9 verse 9, the Lord also would be a refuge for the oppressed, a refuge in times of trouble. Lord, I pray that you will be my refuge from the oppressor. And I thank you, Father God, that you are my strength, that you are a refuge and that you are a shield from the oppressor, from the enemy, and that nothing shall by any means hurt me. Psalm 17 verse 9 says, Keep me as the apple of your eye, hide me under the shadow of your wings, from the wicked who oppresses me, from my deadly enemies who surround me. Father God, I pray that you would deliver me from the wicked and that you would keep me from the oppressor and from the deadly enemies that would surround me. Your word in Psalms 54 verse 3 say, For strangers have risen up against me and oppressors have sought after my life. They have not said God before them. Lord God, I pray that you deliver me from the oppressor that seeks after my soul. Lord God, you are the captain of my soul, that you are the captain of my sheep. I thank you that you hold the keys to life and death. You hold the keys to the oppressor and that you would hold back oppression from my life. I pray that the spirits of oppression would no longer torment me. All monitoring spirits, I speak and I command that they go and live my life at once. I pray that you will show me things I need to take out of my home, even my precious item that I may need to take out of my home, something that I need to stop listening to, things that I thought were important that I need to stop watching, and anything that may be holding any negative power even in my home. Lord, open my eyes to see by your Spirit so that I may throw things that are not needed even in the house in the name of Jesus. Father, 
I thank you because I know that you have the power of protection over my home, over my children, over my life, over my mind, over my body and over my soul in Jesus' name. The book of Psalm 72 verse 4 says, He will bring justice to the poor of the people. He will save the children of the needy and will break in pieces the oppressor. I pray that you will break in pieces my oppressors. As your word says in Psalm 107 verse 39, when they are diminished and brought low through oppression, affliction and sorrow. Dear Lord, I rebuke and cast out all spirits of affliction, sorrow and anything attempting to bring me low in the name of Jesus. Psalms 119 verse 121 says, I have done justice and righteousness. Do not leave me to my oppressors. Lord, I pray in the name of Jesus that you will leave me not to the hands or in the hands of my oppressors. Lord Jesus, I thank you because I know that you died to give me life and deliver me from the evil one. And so, Lord God, I know that you would not leave me to the plans and the agenda of my oppressors. Father God, I pray that every door of oppression in every area and aspect of my life remains closed even from now onward. Let no doors be left open that may cause hindrances to come into my life. Psalm 146 verse 7 says, Who executes judgment for the oppressed? Who gives food to the hungry? The Lord gives freedom to the prisoners. I pray that you will execute judgment against my oppressors. God, I know you are mighty and nothing can stand against you. And so, Lord God, when I rebuke something, it must bow to the name of your Son, Jesus Christ. Psalm 34 verse 7 says, Thou art my hiding place. Thou shalt preserve me from trouble. Thou shalt come past me about with songs of deliverance. The angel of the Lord encamps round about them that fear him and delivereth them. Please, Lord, I pray that in the name of Jesus, that your angels begin to encamp around me and everything that concerns me. Let the wall of protection remain standing and not fall in the name of Jesus. Psalm 3 verses 3 to 7 say, But you are a shield around me, O Lord. You bestow glory in me and lift up my head. To the Lord I cry aloud and he answers me from his holy hill. I lay down and sleep. I wake again because the Lord sustains me. I will not fear the tens of thousands drawn up against me on every side. Arise, O Lord, deliver me, O my God. You are my shield and the lifter up of my head. I can rest in you because you alone are the one who sustains me and keeps me safe. Psalm 5 verses 11 to 12 say, But let all who take refuge in you be glad. Let them ever sing of joy. Spread your protection over them, that those who love your name may rejoice in you. For surely, O Lord, you bless the righteous. You surround them with your favor as with a shield. Lord, thank you for being my refuge, because your protection over me is powerful. I find joy and blessing in your name as you give favor and strength to my days. Psalm 18 verses 2 to 3 say, The Lord is my rock, my fortress and my deliverer. My God is my rock in whom I take refuge. He is my shield and the horn of my salvation, my stronghold. I call to the Lord who is worthy of praise and I am saved from my enemies. Lord, you are my sure foundation. Be my rock, my fortress, my stronghold. I will praise your name forever because you are my deliverer. In the name of Jesus, I pray. According to Psalm 4, and it says, Answer me when I call you, my righteous God. Give me relief from my distress. Have mercy on me and hear my prayer. Offer the right sacrifices and put your trust in the Lord. There are many who say, who will show us some good? Lift up the light of your face upon us, O Lord. You have put more joy in my heart than they have when their grain and wine abound. In peace, I will both lie down and sleep. For you alone, O Lord, make me dwell in safety. 
Lord, like David, I cry out to you as my authority and the author of true mercy. Thank you for being a God of compassion and love. Life is hard enough without constantly being afraid of a God who's out to get me. Help me see what you want me to see when you don't lift the consequences of my actions. Help me to pay it forward to others when you do. Be that constant voice inside my head and the soothing arms around my heart. Mercy is a gift. Never let me forget to mirror to others the compassion you've shown me. Now according to the book of Psalm 51, and it says, Have mercy on me, O God, according to your steadfast love, according to your abundant mercy, blot out my transgressions. Wash me thoroughly from my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin, for I know my transgressions and my sin is ever before me. Against you, you alone have I sinned and done what is evil in your sight, so that you may be justified in your words and blameless in your judgment. Behold, I was brought forth in iniquity, and in sin did my mother conceive me. Behold, your delight in truth in the inward being, and you teach me wisdom in the secret heart. Purge me with high soap, and I shall be clean. Wash me, and I shall be whiter than snow. Let me hear joy and gladness. Let the bones that you have broken rejoice. Hide your face from my sins, and blot out all my iniquities. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from your presence, and take not your Holy Spirit from me. Restore to me the joy of your salvation, and uphold me with a willing spirit. Then I will teach transgressors your ways, and sinners will return to you. Father, I ask that you deliver me from blood guiltness. O oh God of my salvation, and my tongue will sing aloud of your righteousness, O oh Lord. Open my lips, and my mouth will declare your praise. For you will not delight in sacrifice, or I would give it. You will not be pleased with a burnt offering. The sacrifices of God are a broken spirit, a broken and contrite heart, O oh God, you will not despise. Do good to Zion in your good pleasure. Build up the walls of Jerusalem, then you will delight in dried sacrifices. In burnt offerings and whole burnt offerings, then bulls will be offered on your altar. Dear God, in the name of Jesus, I come to you as a sinner who is undeserving of your grace and presence. I repent of all my sins and ask you to forgive me so that my request may be heard by you. Lord, have mercy in me and fill me with your grace. Wash me with the blood of your Son, Jesus Christ, that I may shine and walk unashamed. I ask for your favor from this moment to the end of the day. I thank you for you are faithful. According to the book of Psalm 103, it says, Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me, bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. Who forgives all your iniquity, who heals all your diseases, who redeems your life from the pit, who crowns you with steadfast love and mercy, who satisfies you with good, so that your youth is renewed like the eagles. The Lord works righteousness and justice for all who are oppressed. He made known his ways to Moses and his acts to the people of Israel. The Lord is merciful and gracious, slow to anger and abounding in steadfast love. He will not always chide, nor will he keep his anger forever. He does not deal with us according to our sins, nor repay us according to our iniquities. For as high as the mountains are above the earth, so great is his steadfast love towards those who fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far does he remove all our transgressions from us. As a father shows compassion to his children, so the Lord shows compassion to those who fear him. Lord, I pray that if you are taking me down this route, you would use me as a sanctified vessel not only to pour out mercy and love without measure 
and other people, but that you would use me to encourage others to show the same mercy and forgiveness to their brothers and sisters in the body of Christ and in the wider world beyond. Lord, I know that in and of myself, I have nothing that commends me for this special ministry of mercy and edification. For I know that without Christ, I can do nothing. But praise God that in Christ, I can do all things for he gives me strength. Let me be a pliable clay in the potter's hands and permit you to shape me into the person that you would have me be. Use me in your way and in your time to your praise and glory. According to the book of Psalm 23, Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. The book of Psalms also has prayers that lead to seeking justice. If you pray in the name of Jesus, trusting God that every of the Psalms you speak or say would bring your result, God will indeed answer. So let's pray. Lord, I am reminded of the psalmist's words according to the book of Psalm 145 verse 18, which says, The Lord is near to all who call on him, to all who call on him in truth. Let your spirit guide and empower me as I seek justice and truth and righteousness. And even in the midst of a world filled with injustice, inequality and oppression, my soul cries out. I see the innocent suffering, the oppressed crushed by the weight of injustice and the marginalized voices drowned in the cacophony of power. I cannot stand idly by, for you have instilled in me a passion for righteousness. Grant me, O Lord, the strength and courage to be an instrument of your justice in this broken world. Psalm 82 verse 3 says, Give justice to the weak and the fatherless. Maintain the right of the afflicted and the destitute. O Lord my God, in the depths of my soul I come before you seeking justice in this world of turmoil and strive. As I pour out my heart in prayer, I seek solace in this psalm, finding guidance and strength in the words of the righteous. Hear my plea, O merciful one. As I seek justice through prayer, join in the chorus of those who yearn for righteousness to prevail. According to the book of Psalm 17, O Lord, hear my plea for justice. Listen to my cry for help. Pay attention to my prayer. Declare me innocent, for you see those who do right. You have tested my thoughts and examined my heart in the night. You have scrutinized me and found nothing wrong. And I am determined not to sin in what I say. I have followed your commands, which keep me from following cruel people. Almighty Creator, I acknowledge your divine authority, and I am humbled by your infinite wisdom. You are the one who upholds justice and righteousness, and your ways are perfect. As I am back on this journey, I entreat you to guide my steps and open my heart to the path of justice and truth. Grant me, Lord, in the name of Jesus, a heart that beats in rhythm with yours. Kindle within me a fire of compassion that I may have empathy for the oppressed and marginalized. Give me discernment to recognize the subtle forms of injustice that permeate our society and the wisdom to address them with grace and integrity. Teach me to listen attentively to the voices of those who have been silenced so that their stories may be heard and their suffering alleviated. Psalm 7 verses 1 to 2 and verses 8 and 10 say, Arise, O Lord, in your anger. Lift yourself up because of the rage of my enemies. Rise for me to the judgment you have commanded. So the congregation of the people shall surround you. For their sakes, therefore, return on high. The Lord shall judge the people. Judge me, O Lord, according to my righteousness and according to my integrity within me. Oh, let the wickedness of the wicked come to an end, but establish the just, for the righteous God tests the hearts and minds, my defenses of God who saves the upright in heart. 
As I turned to the Psalms, I found solace and inspiration for they encapsulate the prayers of those who sought justice before me. They cry out to you, O God, in the pain and anguish and find comfort in knowing that you are a God of justice. I lift my voice, joining their plea as I seek to fulfill the divine mandate of justice and righteousness in my own life. Lord, in my pursuit of justice, guard me against anger and bitterness. Help me to understand that true justice is not a weapon of revenge, but a means of restoration and reconciliation. Grant me the wisdom to discern the difference between righteous indignation and self-righteousness. May my actions be guided by love and mercy, even as I strive for justice. Psalm 72 verses 1 and 2 say, Endow the king with justice, O God. May he judge your people in righteousness, your afflicted ones with justice. Lord, I ask for your divine intervention in the systems and structures that perpetuate injustice. Break down the walls of prejudice and discrimination that divides us. Illuminate the minds of those in power so that they may recognize the weight of their responsibility to govern with equity and passion. Raise up leaders who champion justice and are willing to bring about meaningful change. Psalm 10 verses 14 to 18, God's character includes a zeal for justice that leads him to love tenderly those who are socially powerless. As I navigate the complex landscape of seeking justice, I know that I cannot do it alone. I implore you, O Lord, in the name of Jesus, to surround me with a community of like-minded individuals who share the same fervor for justice. Grant us unity and strength as we stand together, speaking truth to power and working tirelessly to dismantle system that oppress. May our collective voices echo throughout the world, proclaiming the advent of a just and equitable society. Psalm 11 verse 7 say, The Lord is righteous. He loves justice. And in this journey towards justice, Lord, I acknowledge my own imperfections and limitations Help me to confront my biases and prejudices so that I may grow in wisdom and understanding. Grant me the humility to acknowledge when I'm wrong and the courage to make amends. Teach me to be an ally and an advocate using my privilege to uplift and empower those who have been marginalized. According to the book of Psalm 146 verses 6 to 8. The maker of heaven and earth upholds the cause of the oppressed and loves the righteous. I pray that you use me, O God, as an instrument of your peace and guide me as I seek to bring about justice in this world. I pray all these things in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, who embodied justice and righteousness. In Jesus' name, Amen. God bless you. Please share this video with someone you know who needs it. Thank you.